I for today's one way teardown with vintage GVC color video camera model number GXN7S. Uh, they are not rare at all, you can still find them on eBay for peanuts. They are worth less than 10 euros, I believe. And uh, really, uh, I have four of them in stock currently. I do not need four useless cameras of the same kind. This one is in a medium condition, missing some parts, and uh, it was dropped here. So, as I have three other ones in better condition, I will not keep this one. So, why not make a one way teardown and uh, make take the opportunity to do a video? So it is a pretty simple uh, camera head without recorder and it is a mono tube camera, no CCD rubbish in here. So the construction is quite interesting on this thing because it is more or less modular. The microphone can be removed like this. I will probably keep this one. It can be useful for another one or something. Uh, the viewfinder is almost removable, except uh, you are still secured by one uh, self clip. Quite weird. In fact, you can, ah, yes, you can install it in this direction for uh, vertical shot. It seems quite fun. So I will try to figure out how to undo this. Little circle clip to undo. Yes. And this will be uh, keeper parts. So, little view finder here. And the most interesting feature on this camera is actually the lance assembly, which can be undone. And probably you could swap with another one, another model. But I have never uh, only seen only this one mounted on this model of cameras, never seen any other model of lens. It will disconnect like this with two regular, uh, very Japanese uh, kind of uh, wiring connectors, like this. And connect to the camera in this way. It is. Uh, Interesting, you can see the mount here with the uh, face of a picture tube, the lance mount, matching part here, and I see a golden like a part here, like a light sensor, something like this. So it will be interesting to look at it. We will start with the viewfinder, I believe. So I know such old viewfinders can be collectible to some people or can be used, but if you want some, you can just to go on eBay and you will find a lot of them. And this one is really very, very, very tiny tube. Probably we have bad capacitors in this anyway. Uh, apparently, free status LEDs here for uh, Exposure and uh, recording. Just some plastic scrap here. So let's open this real quick. This could be easy enough. So we can expect in this nice vintage, typically Japanese electronics. Maybe some interesting uh, podges, some interesting uh, unusual parts. No dead code so far. I believe they are early uh, 80s. Yes, it is really, really small. Okay, a board here on the hinge. Interconnect. And your tiny picture tube with actually two rusty screws. Securing it to the plastic. 
So no regrets here. Apparently this thing has taken some moisture. <coughs> And it is just insane how sometimes uh, very tiny screws can be so difficult to undo. Ah, we have a dead code here in the plastic engraved. It is apparently uh, 84. No. It is where because it is, ah yes, 84, 85, 86. So it is uh, 12 of 84. It seems uh, December of 1984. Okay, some bad rubber here. This thing is really decaying. We have the super tiny Masuchita, of course, uh, CRT with deflection coil. So I do not know what I will do with this assembly. can try to reverse engineer it and power it maybe or I can just scrap it retrieve the copper in here save a little picture tube maybe most probably yes monochrome high voltage assembly here some uh, hybrid assembly here it seems air or oh, it must be a ceramic resistant network and Yes, you can see already some surface mount parts in uh, 84, interestingly enough. Okay, nothing else in here. Proprietary connector. Really, really cute little tube. Here is the uh, model number for you. But pretty much useless. In particular in monochrome. Ok, what do we do next? Uh, the lance assembly. So here, the interesting part will most probably be the uh, apparently primitive autofocus system here with uh, infrared beam, infrared triangulation or something like this. So this might be interesting to look at. If I can take apart this thing without spending hours of unscrewing because I know it is annoying for you. Okay, interesting concept here. Some uh, copper plate to retrieve at least. And this cover is hiding the controls for a manual and autofocus probably shutter. Yes, this is the focus uh, exposure manual and auto and uh, iris or diaphragm ok uh, next uh, I believe this bottom shell should come off yes really an interesting uh, way they did uh, the wiring here on the interconnect to the camera <coughs> No what? This conversion is not good enough. I will try a better one. I try to not use too much my good Facom screwdrivers, but really, for some things, it is the only screwdriver that will work correctly. So, it is expensive screwdriver this one in 10 euros round but really worth it okay bottom shell is off a lot of plastic rubbish by the way and a lot more electronics than expected as you can see Probably for the very old school autofocus system. So, this will be interesting. <coughs> okay, I can see motors. 
So the Zoom motor apparently is here. We must have, yes, we have a zoom control on the top of the camera. Your autofocus system here. I will not probably take completely apart the lance assembly itself, but I want to dig in here. And check. What we have. So really I am missing the flea market. Since the COVID there is no more flea market. And it was always an opportunity to get uh, things like this for real ship and uh, play with them. Luckily enough now we have the e-waste recycling containers in the shops where sometimes I can get something but most of the time it is just uh, steam irons, uh, air dryers and uh, cordless uh, telephones without any uh, interest. Most of the time the interesting stuff in the e-waste uh, bins are uh, the stuff I did put myself. Uh, okay, uh, this is completely in the way so I undo this. Really, really interesting concept on this camera. Not common at all. Well, I mean, only this camera had this features, uh, interchangeable lens like this, I believe, without a proper connection. Okay. Uh, what to do next, I believe. I am interested in this part here. So apparently we have a mirror here. Receiving light from a prism, probably in here, for a light uh, sensor, probably light sensor, probably, and we have all the autofocus stuff. So uh, what to do? Sorry, it would be quite a lot of unscrewing, but at least the screws here are easy to undo. Try to do it quickly for you. Maybe I will succeed, maybe not. Okay, this is annoying. I will undo here. I want to check this light sensor at least. Okay. Uh, tiny, tiny, tiny photodiode, it seems. Yes, in a gold package. So this is interesting. Connected to the main board with coax wire. So what I will do is to uh, Undo the bottom board here at least because I want to access the autofocus sensors. Mm. It's really annoying little screws in this area. Okay. Uh, it is not going back together. Oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Look at this. It looks like we have a decaying rubber band plague here. Where is it? Where is it? Yes. Uh, probably we have rubber band in here and there is nothing left of it otherwise fun 
notre fin de vis. Les grammes My Side Cutters. And remove some of the wires. Ok, I am not seeing so far what is interesting. The uh, autofocus sensor. Let me get rid of this board completely. surface mount parts here two uh, cans which I can try to open I guess this looks like a, a power converter maybe not sure and here some Precision uh, amplifier or something like this. Okay, old school uh, disc uh, ceramic capacitor here. But nothing of particular interest in this area. So, where is our infrared? Ah, autofocus sensor. Uh, in fact, yes, I can see. Oh, this is annoying because this is super tedious. So here we have apparently the uh, iris or diaphragm control, and here we have what seems to be uh, maybe I can undo this piece of glass here. Ah, here we have. Uh, infrared LED and it is returning through this lens here to this particular piece which seems to be nothing else than a photodiode and it is actually uh, Ah yes, I understand. It will move together with the focus ring. And it will align itself, it seems, with the focus ring. Something like this. And really a small... Uh, yes, photodiode here. Nothing else than a photodiode. Okay, we are left with this assembly, which seems to be super tedious to take apart. So the two motors, ah, here is our decaying belt rubber, look like this. So this thing is done, it means the three other ones I have might be in the same condition. Uh, at least I know I can undo easily the bottom part here and check the condition of the rubber. Okay, this is a galvanometric assembly, I believe. And a lot of tiny stuff, but this should be too tedious to take apart now. In particular, with this part here, uh, annoying miniature Allen. Okay, but you get the idea. This is just uh, some pieces of glass with a regular uh, zoom. Assembly, two motors, two uh, small motor reductors here with uh, missing belts. So for each one, the belt is missing. And your galvanometric iris control. Okay, probably a nice prism inside here, but not. Uh, ah, maybe, maybe actually. Wait a second, because if I undo this, I undo. They did provide holes to access the major uh, structural screws. So yes, we are going somewhere.
we have one screw probably hidden here. And, ah, here we are. Okay, cool. So your this is a switch with golden tracks on the PCB. Your iris control here. Little galvanometric galvanometer motor here, probably. Okay, and this is the prism. Uh, yes, it will redirect some of the light to the uh, exposure sensor, apparently. And it is all what I wanted to see in this area. So when I, I take apart such stuff, usually I keep uh, any interesting optical part. I put them together in a big, in a cardboard box, and when I have uh, two kilos or so of them, I sell it, it on eBay as a grab bag of random optical parts. But I discard anything in uh, plastic. I keep only the good glass optical stuff. Okay, so it should be enough for this part. Now time to work the hands and go to the main assembly. So normally in here no rubber belts, I hope at least. Uh, but a huge number of screws to undo. To access the... So I believe it will be a two. Circuit board construction, most probably. We will find out. We read the middle, the structural piece of the picture tube. This is actually a metal part. Also, the side panel uh, aluminium. Some kind of uh, zamac or zinc, something like this. So after undoing these screws here, it should just pop open form of screws. Lay up, it should be good. Really, I am happy to get rid of this camera because having four times the same camera is a little bit crazy. I add them for very, very long, by the way. of screws to salvage. I have only 30 kilos worth of screws so I need to salvage more of them. Okay. Um, should come off like this. <coughs> Probably not completely the correct way to do it, but it worked. Uh, yes, same. Ah, January of 85 in this part. Buttons are coming off, and you can see there is actually a plastic reinforcement behind the aluminium. Some more screws to undo. Okay. And here we reveal the first sign, which is uh, actually already pretty uh, interesting. Very, very compact and filled with electronics. 
apparently we have more of those hinge uh, contacts interconnecting the boards. So the other side should come off as so. Did I forget to screw? No. Ah, maybe. Ah, of course. <laughs> It is better. So we have in here just the uh, yes record push button GVC Smith Voy testing two screws for the strap and we are in March 85 here. Oh at least it looks like we have stuff. Wow. It is a pretty much filled. So probably here in this nice uh, copper can. Uh, this is a DC converter for the power supply. You can see the test sticker with uh, model number. It is yes mounted on a Connector and it should come open. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Actually, uh, for some reason it will not come out, but yes, definitely, I can see it is a DC to DC converter. Wow. Interesting, at least there is a nice copper box to retrieve. Okay, then we have this bottom panel looks like looks like we have hidden scrolls under the rubber here yes you can see already the main structural aluminium piece in here that will hold the picture tube in a precise position relatively to the lens. Okay, wow, at least no shortage of electronics. Quite an interesting thing here, this piece of loose wire, not sure. We have nice modules that should require uh, complete unsoldering to look at each one of them I was not expecting uh, this a little fuse here for your safety and it looks like it should be possible to extract at least the fixture tube ok, hinge like this serious uh, Building here must be yes the uh, advantage power supply for the picture tube, of course. A loose connector here on the picture tube, and uh, I want to undo the electronics completely. So it can off, but. Nothing is easy, they did not provide a connector at this end. Ok. Here we have one, here we have one. Here I have to cut the leg of this uh, big flat capacitor. I am even in frame, yes. And here. So, I get rid of some shieldings 
Wow. Pretty, pretty amazing electronics in here. You can see a number of little boards with quite a few trimmers and quite a few more trimmers here. Obviously, it is just insane. Very shielded box here for the uh, video ampli final application, maybe or uh, the in amplifying from the picture tube. Yes, uh, you will not be able to see each one of these boards in detail except if I work them loose, but I do not want to do this for now. Uh, this is quite a display piece, in fact, quite amazing uh, construction here. Each board has a few ices, I can see. You can see here a bulge uh, capacitor. Wow. I was not expecting uh, such a construction. They did really uh, put a lot of electronics in this box. Ah, look at this. Here we have a nice bulge. They did glue this transistor around this uh, trimmer here and connect it with wires and few resistors also, bulge. Quite interesting. So this is, yes, this is a single-sided, well, no uh, metallized holes in the PCB. So it means I should be able to solder all this if I want, quite easily. It is really, really something at least. Mostly uh, 10k surface mount resistors at the back. Okay, and we are left with this uh, picture tube assembly. You can see aluminium mounting box here for the, yes, in probably amplifying the signal out of the picture tube. And in here we will have copper deflection coils. So I will try to <coughs> extract completely. This picture tube at least. To see what we have exactly. Okay. Do not know if it would be possible. Yes, we have a screw here. So I will undo this box. So it is making a terrible mess on my bench as always. Okay, soldered here and here. But there is something interesting to show you, I believe. So I will try to open this box. Oops. Do not collaborate. Uh, because we have here actually, you see these two wires. And here we have this assembly going to the front of the tube. So for, uh, for reasons, the, this generation of uh, picture uh, tubes did require uh, front illumination to work properly. Sometimes it is done with LEDs, but here it is done with two little bulbs, like this, in the front, shining on the side here, it seems, of this piece of glass. Quite interesting. And we have the uh, tube itself. 
the alcohol comes off. Yes, like this. Matsushita, I believe, logo. Yes, made in Japan, of course. S4250. Not uh, gassy, apparently. Still good. Very, very tiny front area here. But it looks like. Is it just no? It is not just dirty. The surface is, is damaged in some way. So it should not be good anymore for taking pictures. Okay, in here we just have a copper coil, but it should require a proper unsoldering and tedious disassembly, so I'll do it off camera. This box here I would like to see what there is inside, but as you can see, it is quite seriously put together. Let me try anyways with a proper tool you to open it. Is it good enough? Yes. And there is not much So this is becoming dangerous. Okay. We have uh, I do not see a single uh, transistor in this. Maybe the other side, but mainly uh, a coil or the few surface mount uh, probably tantalum capacitors. But it is yes, it is called preamp at least. Okay, and yes, it is uh, connected at, in fact to the front ring on the picture tube here. This front ring is actually the output of the tube. And when you insert it into the socket, it will uh, connect to this preamplifier here. Interesting. One of the most uh, delicate things would be to align correctly the tube, I believe. Because there is no index on anything, so you can rotate it uh, as many as you want. But there is only one position which is good. The number of the assembly here for you. Okay, so uh, the most uh, interesting thing is this stack of PCBs, I believe. So I do not see any uh, really particular uh, weird part on here. Uh, surface mount ICs, surface mount uh, capacitors, some uh, dual lead line ICs, but I do not see any hybrid or something like this. Maybe in this box, but it is uh, quite challenging to access it, I guess. We can try, we can try. Uh, I am trying for you. Oops. Okay. We have solder bridges at three different spots. Holding a can in place. One here. One here. And one on the top. Here. Okay. Should come off. We must. And we have. Oh, it is interesting because we have a big IC with uh, apparently uh, aluminum uh, copper shielding over the top, glued over the top and connected to the ground here. And we have super tiny overboard with one 
uh, crystal and some trimmers, uh, inductive and capacitive trimmers. Okay. Here, the, this board is uh, at the same time the uh, power supply input and the video output of the camera. Little fuse. And it is all. So I have no idea of what I will do with this. Quite interesting construction at least. So if you want one camera like this for yourself, let's go on eBay. There are plenty of them. Still around. Okay. So I will uh, clean my bench now. Uh, it was a fun one. GVC GX-N7S. And I still have three more of these cameras in my stock. I need to check about the decaying rubber belt, but I believe it would be the same one, for the same thing for each one of them, sadly enough. So, thanks for watching. Bye bye.